a fun Sunday crafting afternoon with you guys. And I really did not want October to end without um, me doing a project with um, awareness this month. So if you guys don't know, October is um, the national um, month, awareness month for breast cancer awareness. Um, so I thought it would be really fun to get on here and do a couple of projects um, tailored around breast cancer awareness. Um, and I just think it's gonna be a super fun project. So what I have planned today is to make a small little book stack. Um, and then I have a couple of cups that I wanted to do with you guys. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started, but I see some of you guys jumping on. So I really appreciate it. Hi everyone and happy Sunday. Um, so in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we're gonna go do the book sack and a couple cups and we're just gonna chat along the way. So I hope that you are excited as I am um, and we're just gonna go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this Peace Love Cure Stencil. I think it is probably one of my favorites. It's absolutely gorgeous and it fits to the theme of our project for today. Now what I did was um, we have these faux book stacks and they usually come in white. And what I did is I went ahead and painted this. And if anybody is interested, it is just the, um, the magenta color. It's just acrylic, excuse me, acrylic paint. I went ahead and did a few coats on here and let it dry completely. And then I went ahead and waxed it and then I've let it sit overnight. Um, so now our book stack is officially ready for our stencil. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the words, the, the peace, loving, cure on the side here. And on the very tip top, we're gonna use the awareness ribbon and then tie it together with a little bow. And then afterwards, I'm gonna take the ribbon and the little peace sign, um, cause I love patterns, everybody knows that. And I'm gonna put them on cups. We're gonna use a couple of different inks and um, black paste and inks and it's just gonna be a really fun time. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put my words on. So I'm gonna put my words on this side that you guys can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it towards me and this is gonna be my top. So I'm gonna have that facing you guys. And we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna peel this stencil. I do have my tacky towel here that I'm gonna be using to fuzz. I do have some Clorox wipes to this side. So when we start working with our cups, we'll be able to quickly clean up our stencil to be able to use it again. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do the piece. All right, and we have our black paste here. Now, don't you guys think this cup is just amazing? I have a Hello Winter here. So I'm sipping on some afternoon coffee. And I have my black paste, I'm gonna go ahead and open. I just have a little mini squeegee that we're gonna be working with today. All right, so we have our piece. There we are. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this one. Oh, it looks so great. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick it back on my tacky towel so we can get um, this drying so you guys can see our first word has been placed. Now while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use our awareness ribbon on the top. All right, and I'm just sticking it down. And I'm getting it in the middle of the book stack as close as I can from the eyeballs. I'm going to go ahead and put this black on it. Hey everyone, thanks for joining in. How is everyone's Sunday going? Wanted to hop on here and do an awesome craft with you if you're just joining. 
All right, we have our cancer awareness ribbon on. And I'm gonna go ahead and peel this because it is National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So I did not want October to pass us by without doing a super cute project. Oh, look how beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna put this down. Oh, we got a little smudge right here, but we'll clean that up in just a little while. So you guys can see that we have our awareness ribbon here, and that is just so beautiful. So we're waiting for peace to dry, and it looks to be pretty dry, and you guys can look at the awareness ribbon here. All right, now we're gonna go ahead, and I'm coming back in with love. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do the love. Oh, this is gonna be so darling. All right, we have love, so we're gonna let that dry for just a moment, and then we'll do cure. So here is what we have so far. So peace and love, and then we'll do cure at the bottom, and we'll tie it together with a beautiful bow. So this love is dry. We're gonna go ahead and put our last one on here for cure. All right, and we have the cure on. Let's go ahead and lift up. We have our last word for our book stack. Take a look and see what you think. Isn't this just adorable? All right, guys. So for this, I'm going to let this dry for just a moment. And we're going to go ahead and put a bow on it to tie it all together. So in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wash this stencil. Um, how I do it very quickly is I just take a Clorox wipe and we're just gonna wipe the fronts and the backs of this stencil because we're gonna go ahead and use this again. All right, we'll take a few more here. I use so many wipes all the time. So you guys can see that gently come in clean. I'll go ahead and really work this front side. Then I'll turn it around and I'll also do the back. This just ensures that we're getting it clean and we're quickly cleaning it. All right, so there is a little bit of staining, but that is okay, especially with working with black. I will go ahead and give it a really good wash after we're done using it. So I'll just take a Clorox wipe, not a baby wipe, on the back side of the stencil, just to make sure that we have gotten it all out of that silk screen. We won't be using the words again, we'll just be using the figures and the icons above, but we just wanna make sure that it's not gonna stick in to the stencil. So the back side is clean, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean it one more time on the front. All right. Perfect. Now, the inside of the tacky towel helps your stencil dry very quickly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this just a few times. So I wanna ensure that the stencil is super dry. Some people lift it up, turn it around. Also, you can put your stencil on its side if it fits. And I rub it like this sometimes too. Gets it nice and dry super quick. Has anybody tried that technique before? If so, let me know. All right, so what we're gonna 
do now, since our stencil is really decently dry, is I have all of these little cups. So I have a gray one here and I have a white one. So what we're gonna do is I have the gray cup for the awareness ribbon and then I have the white cup because I love patterns and I love this little zebra printed peace sign and we're gonna go ahead and start with that one. And what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna put it on my tumbler here and we're gonna use the new um, glittering black ink. Has anyone used the black ink currently for inking? And how do you like it? All right, so working with rounded objects is a little tricky. What I like to do is I like to find a starting point and I like to roll it as I go. I feel like that gives me the crispest lines and no bubbles. All right, so I'm just pushing it down. And if I have any bubbles, I'm lifting and removing and replacing as I go. I absolutely love this. All right, now take your time smoothing. You want your design to be perfect. Okay, we have that one all ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and clean off this squeegee really quickly and get rid of my garbage. I'm gonna go ahead and close up our chalk paste. And we're gonna go ahead and open that new glittering black. Oh, I see some people have said that they've used it. That's amazing. I absolutely love it. I love the glittering, like the, it's just perfect. It has like almost a smoky gray feel to it too with the black. All right, so we're going ahead and we're placing it on our cup right now. Now, since some cups cannot go to the oven to heat set, I'm gonna go ahead and take a heat gun to this and have heat to activate it to make it completely permanent. We call this heat setting, but sometimes it's done in the oven if you're working with cups or ceramics. And this time I'm gonna go ahead and just use a heat gun to be able to heat set it. Okay, with everything covered, I go ahead and remove my excess. Now I'm gonna gently peel back the cup. All right, now that we have our cup, you guys can take a look and see how cute that came out. Oh, I just love that. All right, so we're gonna sit it right here so you guys can take a peek. And then I have my stencil here. Now I'm gonna be super careful not to get the black on this cup, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this one for the awareness ribbon. So again, I work from the middle point and smooth downward, and then I'll roll it. I'm gonna lift up here into the design, and then I'm gonna smooth it out to make sure we don't have any sort of bubbling. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have this cup hold it for just a second. Let's not touch those. And for the next part, I'm gonna go ahead and put my black on. I thought it would be super fun if we mix some colors. So I love this rose gold. So I'm gonna put a little bit of rose gold down. But what I love too is this fuchsia rose. How many of you guys love these two colors? Have you mixed them yet? So I love mixing these two. The Fuchsia Rose gets it the pink that I'm looking for and the Rose Gold gets it that glitter effect that I absolutely adore. 
So we're just mixing these two in our little jar, our little container here. And I'll show you guys this color and you guys let me know below what you think about these two mixed. I don't know up close if you guys could see the glitter from there, but I'll try my best. All right, what do you guys think of those two colors mixed together? I absolutely love it. It just makes the rose gold just a little bit of a brighter pink, and then it takes the fuchsia and just puts all of the glitter into it. One of my favorites. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take our squeegee here, and I have a little bit of black because I wanted a little bit of a mix with it. Just to tie all of our projects together. All right, guys, we're almost there. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, so we're gonna put that off to the side and we're gonna go ahead and gently remove our stencil from our cup. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love it. So I have my stencil over here so I can wash it in a second. Look how cute. Okay, I might not have wanted to mix a little bit of that black in there, but I think it makes it look a little cool. What do you guys think? I have this guy, I absolutely love it, and we have these guys. Oh, these are gonna be my new favorites. I have those two, and then I'm gonna go ahead and remember we made our book stack here. Now we need to dress it up with a little bit of a bow to tie it all together. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put the lids back on these so we don't make any more of a mess. As all of you guys know, I'm super messy, right? All right, so I have the, I really liked this um, stripes for the bow. And then let me grab my scissors from up here. So I have those and I have some glue dots and I was hoping that the glue dots would work so I did not have to turn on that hot glue gun today. Um, and then I have this little wire ribbon here um, it's like a sheer, and I think those were going to be super cute going over it. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just measuring first, and then we're cutting our ribbon, and then I'm going to put a glue dot on there. Now I get these glue dots from the Dollar Tree and they come in like 30 of them for like a dollar 25, I guess now. But I absolutely love them. So I'm gonna put one side of the glue dot, another side of the glue dot. I'm gonna take one more glue dot to tie it all together on the top. How many of you guys have tried these little adhesive glue dots? Do you like them? Do you feel like they work? I love them. All right, so then we have our first round of ribbon. And now I'm gonna do the same, and you guys let me know. Do you guys like it with the sheer? Now let me cut it so you guys can take a closer look. Okay, and you guys could tell me sheer or no sheer. Does it kind of take it away or does it add to it? What do you guys think? Does it take it away or does it add to it? I think it adds to it with a little bit of sparkle and maybe we'll add the um, striped bow little on the, like a small one on the top here. What do you guys think? Do you like the glitter? Do you not like the glitter? What do you guys think? I think I really like the glitter. I'm looking at some comments coming in. I think that's the same too. Okay, let's show you guys one more time without it. 
All right, here's without it, little plane, or dun, 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 with it. So put a little bit of glitz and glam in there. I think it does. I think you guys agree. All right, let's go ahead and do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put a glue dot to tie that one together. Now there's like four, eight, 12 of these on a pack. And they come with like three or four sheets. All right, so here's our glue dot. We're tying it together. Oh my gosh, okay. I think that was a good choice, guys. Let me go ahead and dress it up a little. I love that, super sparkly. Oh, we could have even put maybe some sparkles on here while that was wet, huh? That would have been a good idea. Okay, so I want you guys to keep taking a look at that one and have the same material. And I was thinking, that we would just put a little bow on the top just to kind of tie it all together. And I don't want it to go over the awareness ribbon at the same time. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and snip it there. And then I had, have, dun, 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 dun. let's see, where did I put it? I have this little zip tie. I guess we'll go ahead and use the zip tie. just to make the bow. All right. There we are. So I'm gonna make sure I like where it's at. All of these little pieces. I'm gonna snug it really tight and then all I do on the very back side is clip it. And then let's see if this is gonna work with this glue dot. I might have to grab the glue gun for afterwards if the little strip doesn't want to stick to the bow. Little zip tie knot. All right, so let's take a look. If it's looking at you like this, you kind of want it right about here. All right, let's push it down. Let's see if that glue dot will hold up for us. All right, I think it will. Now we have them tied together a little bit with a little bit of a bow. What do you guys think? I think this book stack is super cute. And we have our beautiful awareness cup to go with it. And this one we just threw in for fun. I still love this. This pattern is super cute. I wanted to show you guys how the inks could work on a cup, but more so I wanted to bring awareness that it is National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And I hope to see you guys in a future video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And I hope you have a great